Hello everyone. Welcome to Ansarkari. Today we will talk about important article related to lithium. Regarding the status of the lithium industry in India, it is around 383 million in 2021 and India has imported around 1 billion dollar of lithium batteries in 2020. So, there is expansion of artificial intelligence 5g and related technologies so the consumption of lithium will increase in coming decade for that every country is researching every country is exploring their own lithium reserve so regarding the chile bolivia are the world largest reserve of lithium so the chilean government has made lithium as strategic resources whereas bolivia new constitution has given uh, exploration exploitation industrialization of the lithium to the government sector further there is a national lithium strategy in chile and the strategy calls for ppp model for lithium project in the latin american countries lithium policy would be designed so that uh, there is a uh, clean objective to how to process lithium and how to go about uh, regarding the financial status of the lithium industries and related msmes so what india needs to do is to make two to three to follow two to three points such as making lithium as a strategic resource and also using ppp model in lithium exploration and exploitation and third is to make a designated lithium policy under a nodal ministry that will take care of the exploration and exploitation of the reserve then regarding the india and nepal relationship important point is India imports electricity from Nepal this is very important fact it is around 10000 megawatt of electricity then there is a religious culture tie between India and Nepal everyone knew everyone knows about it for the important point is Gorakhpur Bhutwal transmission line and uh, agreement on lower arun hydroelectric project between india and investment board of nepal then another article is related to the india and uh, its relationship between the pacific islands country all these are country in this region papua new guinea where our prime minister sri narendra modi ji had visited last week recently there was also news regarding the signing of a security agreement between the solomon island and china so this region in the pacific region is very important geo strategic very important for the big powers in the country big powers in the world and so india as a responsible major power is trying to do trying to woo these rain nation so that uh, it can play important role in indo pacific region so from the perspective of the ge geographic location Palau, Micronesia, Marshall Island, Kiribati, Nauru, Tuvalu, Cook Island, Vanuatu, Solomon, and Papua New Guinea. These are the island which is very important. Then Arafura Sea is is south of Papua New Guinea. Solomon Island Sea is in the westward direction of Solomon Island. Coral Sea is between the Pacific chain of islands and Australia. Tasman Sea is between the Australia and New Zealand.
Now coming back to the article with India and South Pacific Island nation. Important point is, we have already talked about the 14 island nation. And the Forum for India-Pacific Island Cooperation is a grouping of India and 14 island nation. Further, there is a presence of large Indian diaspora. Approximately of 37% of the Fiji population is of Indian origin, whereas 3,000 Indian live in Papua New Guinea. So there is a role play of the diaspora also. In Fiji and PNG, that is Papua New Guinea, Indian indentured neighbor was transported to Fiji for the sugarcane plantation from 1879 to early 20th century. With the agitation and efforts of C.F. Andrew, friend of Mahatma Gandhiji, who visited Fiji in 1915-17, led to the abolition of endangered species system in 1920. This is very important. Then, Act East policy becomes the bedrock for the PIC, that is India-Pacific Island Cooperation. Till now, three summit has been held. They are very vulnerable to the climate change rising sea level. Initiatives such as ISA, International Solar Alliance, Coalition for Disaster Re Resilient Infrastructure, CETRI, and Small Developing Island Developing States, that is IRIS, Resilient Island States. All these will help to broaden the relationship between India and Pacific Island in the areas of solar electrification, agriculture equipment, then health, education, constructing seawall, uh, relief during the storm, and making of resilient infrastructure for tackling climate change. Further, with India's more involvement in the Pacific Island states, it will help to reduce the Chinese incursion, Chinese influence in this region. So in the Blue Pacific 2050 strategy, India and its partner like Australia will boost sustainable growth in this region. India and Pacific Islands have been, uh, will participate more in the using of Indian technology cap capacity in desalination, health facility, in, in IT sector, solar energy, etc. Further, currently, the trade between India and PIC, that is Pacific Island chain nations, is around $300 million, which needs to be improved. Then next article is regarding the RBI annual report that has been published on 30th of May. Patch, uh, five points are important in this. First is the RBI's total income was 2.35 lakh crore, which, is, which was for 47% more than 2021. RBI will transfer dividend of 87,000 crore to center more than double than 2021. Further, lending rate are back to pre-COVID level. Share of bad loan with respect to total lending continues to fall. Gross NPA, that is non-performing asset, to the total advances has fallen from 15.5% to 5.8% in 2022. Im 
emergency credit line guarantee scheme which was for the uh, msme sector and rbi said to continue the loan mer mer moratorium program that is do not pay loan in that date they can pay loan further in further delay to prevent the proliferation of stress stress in the banking system during the pandemic but still the gross npa has fallen to 5.8% then number of bank fraud has increased due to the digital payment system fdi is lowest since 2019-20 total fdi fell to around 46 billion in 2023 whereas in the manufacturing sector the fdi is also fall in, in spite of pli type schemes which is production link schemes that has been announced for several local manufacturing setup so five key points are there that is bank fraud is increasing the data is given here FDI is decreasing from last three years. Gross NPA has increased, uh, decreased to five point eight percent. Lending rates are back to pre-COVID levels, and there is increase in RBI's total income, approximately double. So five things have been published by RBI in the annual report. That's all for today. Thank you.